while choosing between sin and virtue may be difficult because we have different parts of our being drawing us in different directions. The fear and desire which pulls us towards the sin and the yearning of our spirit to grow, to develop itself, pulling us towards virtue. It is often not just a matter of a conflict between these two parts of myself, but it can easily even be a conflict between virtues. Many religions tell us that we have to speak the truth. They also tell us we have to be just. They also tell us that we should not harm others. But these things can come into conflict. Because justice can imply harming. Truth can imply harming. And being non-harmful can mean injustice or untruthfulness. And ultimately it is not always possible to satisfy all the requirements all the time. And this is why it is important not just to consider what is virtue, but also what is your path and what is really the essence of the higher power which is guiding you. So you in a way have a hierarchy of virtues and also a hierarchy of sins, which are the worst, which are the best. And what may be a sin to one may be a virtue to another. So see this for what it is and also see your personal path in relationship to your deity. For instance, if your path is that of a healer and you want to work together with the higher power to heal others, then do no harm is likely to be the greatest good for you. If on the other hand you are a temple guard who tries to ensure that the holy place is maintained in a good way and that the energy is not corrupted so that it may benefit all, then at times you will have to harm an individual to protect the group. So find out what is your relationship, what is your role, what is it that the deity calls you to do and then you will order your virtues and sins according to that role, what is required of you. But if you follow your own line of doing what is best always, then also the God will reward you for that. Even if what is best is different from what is best for others. And ultimately it doesn't matter what the other person thinks of your virtuousness or sinfulness. It matters what the higher power thinks of your virtuousness and sinfulness. Remember that. And you will receive many, many blessings.